Uh, I'm working tomorrow. Saturday. Yep. What days you work? Wednesday and what? Wednesday, Wednesday Saturday. And Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, you work Fridays? Yep. What time do you get out on Friday? Last Friday? Yeah. Or any Friday, really. Seven. Yeah. Really? That's it? You just held in by punch pins? Yeah. That's how old Brembo calipers are. Oh, yeah. Mine are. Mine are well in there held in like that. You got two cotter pins? What's up? You got two cotter pins? No, these don't get cotter pins. Uh, mine's got one single cotter pin you pull out and the whole caliper flips real quick. You uh, you pull the pads out from the top. You don't even have to move the caliper. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's exactly what you do with these. Yeah, the pads are held in by a cotter pin. You've got these two slide pins. Actually, I come to think about it, I think it's time to slap some pads on there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the rotors are not the kind of rotors you cut. They'll slap a pad on for the winter time. And then... Um, Actually, to be honest, the car's so light. Dude, those brakes have been on there for like two years now. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hard on them regularly? Of course not. The car's light. I literally breathe on the pedal. No joke. Yeah. Yeah, 11 inch rotors, four piston brakes stopping a 2,000 pound car. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you don't need all that. I can literally brake my car just fine with the rear brakes. I just use a handbrake and the car will brake just fine. Yeah. Yeah, you'd never know I wasn't using the regular brakes. In fact, I have it set so that if you pull it too much, it just locks up the tire. In case I wanted to never use it. Not that I use it, but sometimes. If you're in the middle of the road and you got to make a quick U-turn. Of course. I was driving Tommy's car around a little bit because he asked me to listen for a noise. I think just a little ice got in the rim or something because after I drove it for a while, it wasn't shaking. Yeah. I was shaking like a motherfucker, though. I was like, oh my God, what'd you do? He's like, nothing. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just take you to the gym. And then by the time I was halfway to the gym, it was fine. I was like, all right, it's probably just ice in the rims from the snow. Yeah, probably. But I was driving his car. Oh, my God, dude, that thing is so cramped. Like, my car's got all the room in the world compared to his. I don't understand. What's the difference? Interior. And yes. make room for airbags. You don't have airbags? Uh, I have one in the steering wheel, and that's it. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, good. he's uh, 01, isn't he? Yes, he is. Oh yeah, so he's got he's even got to have smart airbags. And not only that, but his seats are fluffier. To reduce his room. Pluffier. I don't even know how to say it. It's like fluffier and puffy. So pluffy. Pluffier. Pluffier. Uh, uh, can't move his seat as far back because it's thicker. So I'm closer to the wheel. My knees are higher to the steering wheel, and my back is closer to everything else. Now you know how I feel. I guess so. <laughs> But like, Do you have to take your shoes off to drive it? No, I'm perfectly fine. And I feel bad because I drive the thing ten times better than he does. <laughs> well, you, he's a bad driver. I know, but I get in and I'm just like, alright. <laughs> Let's hope Tommy doesn't watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> but I get in his car and I'm like, alright. And like when he shifts, there's always like really big like gaps to his shifting. And I'm just well, like, oh man. You don't I remember the PT clutching. Cruiser? I mean, I do. The, but yeah, but that car shifted like this. It would go, uh, boom. Uh, foom. Like it was the weirdest shift ever. It always go foom. Which I did a stick PT Cruiser the other day. I did a stick uh, Beetle today. The stick new one? So I can Beetle. Yeah, too bad it was a fucking accident. I couldn't drive it. Oh. But, my, um, my sister had one of those shit boxes. And, but when I drove his car and I was shifting it around, um, his transmission just wants to shift super quick. That's one of those transmissions where it wants to be loaded up before it was in gear. Yeah. So by the time you're already like, you're not even on the clutch really, and the gear already wants to be in neutral and ready to go. So I was just shifting it super quick and barely, like I would just breathe on the clutch pedal. And yo, know, it shifted perfect every single time. I was like, okay, all right, well. Why don't you try not using the clutch? I, I did. Yeah. Works fine. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, no, just an 18 and an 18 and an 18 and an 18. Oh, that brake cleaner. Everything, there's three cans of brake cleaner around. They were all like quarter full. Yeah. I bet you this one. Yeah, this one's empty too. <laughs> yeah, so that was, you know what's funny is everyone was complaining at the new kid because he was using brake cleaner to clean the uh, car. And I was like, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you're supposed to clean it. 
Yo, know, leave oil all over the fucking place, and they're like, ha, fuck them. I'm like, what do you mean, fuck them? Yo, you can't do that. Because they did the same thing to me when I first started working here. I did an oil change. You know how some of them, the oil goes right all over the sway bar and shit. Yep. I spray it off, wipe it off, and they're just like, yo, relax. And I'm like, you relax. What the fuck? I just take a regular fucking wipe this shit off. That's well, no, I mean, I spray it real quick. It's not like I'm sitting there huffing the can, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, who doesn't like huffing brake cleaner? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's the only way I remember. <laughs> this one actually, you can't even see it anymore, but that, that was from there to there. It was a pinch well, literally just skinned me when I when it first hit me. And you looked down, you look at it, it was literally just skin, and I was like, oh, I guess okay. I didn't go all the way through. Yeah, like, and then the blood just started coming. I'm like, oh, motherfucker. Rears are pretty much the same process as the fronts. Take your pin. Line it up. One, two, take tension off. And let release the tension off the tension plate. Pin out. And see, this is why this needs to be done. There is a special tool for this that I do not have. I don't know what I did with it. And there we go. Okay. Yeah. The pad should, just like the front, should come right out. It might be a little jammed in there. And there we go. One pad. No grease. Don't know what this stuff is, but it ain't grease. Looks like any seeds. Where am I getting close? And just like that. Unlike the fronts, the rear calipers have to come off. They don't have to. It just makes life easier to get the pins back in. Or you could take out the fender liner. But it's just as easy to pull the caliper itself off. It's only two bolts, 18 millimeter. And the caliper comes loose. This is only to get the pins back in. Makes life a lot easier. One bolt. Two bolts, set the cover on top, don't let it happen. Next, we're going to grease up our pads. That's the whole point. Grease up the side where it rubs the caliper. 
Same thing with the other side, where there should be grease and there isn't. I like to put a little grease in here. There we go. And to prevent squeaking. Take the pad, I should say. Slide it back into the caliper. Slide it down the channel. Like that. Let it sit. Take our other pad and do the same thing. This is just so it doesn't wear through the epoxy coating on the caliper, exposing the bare aluminum, which will cause problems when salt and road grime and water gets in there. It will electrolyze between the steel caliper plate and the aluminum, or the steel pad plate and the aluminum caliper. and it will weld itself together. Doesn't have to be pretty, it's just a brake pad. I'll take this. Hey, don't forget about that car, alright? I'm not. Nice, that's on video too. <laughs> Sorry to hear. Nobody appreciates you, Greg. Nobody appreciates you. Hey, I appreciate you. You let me you let me do things other people don't. Fine. Let that back through. The service bulletin. The Tesla doesn't like to grease up the pads and calipers, and they like to weld themselves together and stop working. Yeah, I'm filming it. Of course I'm filming it. Greg's going to be famous. Want to tilt it up a little bit more? No. Did you do the other side yet? Yeah, it's done. What's up, Greg? Uh, I don't. Six six five five two. You gotta set the alarm. All the doors have to be closed. Everything's got to be closed up. And don't move. And don't move. Oh, it's got a motion sensor too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You type in six six five five. It'll beep. You got about thirty seconds to get out of the building. Keep in mind, if the alarm goes off, it's three hundred dollars. Okay. Here are Neil's keys to his treasure trove. No. Make sure you lock it up. Just throw them on my desk, please. You got it. Um. 
Frank, were you here yesterday? You missed his scope. And you don't know what? Scope. No, why? You missed the whining. They couldn't find his scope. Somebody stole his thousand dollar scope. Why does he leave his toolbox unlocked? Nobody fucking should touch his shit anymore. Blah 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 blah. No. You no. missed all of that. It was great. It went on for like four fucking hours. You know where his scope was? Where? Yeah. Toolbox. Right where he left it on top of his toolbox. <laughs> In his case. What'd he say? He said, oh, I didn't push there. I Tighten it back up. Have a good one, Greg. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, no, no, mom. It was an illusion. What's the illusion? When you have the caliper up, I thought that's where the caliper went. Oh, no. That's why I asked you if you wanted to move the camera down. Yeah. What the hell happened back here? Oh, who knows? I don't get it out. The whole car is just, the whole car shot right now. It needs a full detail. Yeah, maybe in like a month or two. No, I'm thinking like March, April. After the snow. And that's that.